College Success Arizona presents student stories. The feature of the following story and interview is Alma Serrano. I was born in Mesa, Arizona, here in the States, and I was raised in Mexico. Gotcha. So you were born in Mesa and raised in Mexico? Yes. And where in Mexico, and between what ages were you in Mexico? I was raised uh, a few years in Hermosillo, Sonora, so in the desert, about six hours from here, from Arizona. And then um, I was also, I also lived in Tijuana, um, in the Baja area, for about five years. And then I was there till I was uh, 14, and then I moved here uh, with my dad at that age uh, to start high school. So you moved, you're born in Mesa, you live in Hermosillo, then Tijuana, and back to Arizona to start high school in Mesa when you're 14 years old? Yes. And where did you graduate from high school? I graduated from Mesa High School. And how old are you currently? I'm 20. And what are you doing so far as your education? I am a junior year of college, um, studying interior design, and um, that is pretty much it. <laughs> and you're attending Northern Arizona University? Yes, I'm attending NAU in Scottsdale. Oh, you're doing the NAU campus in Scottsdale? Yes, I was in Flagstaff uh, the last two years, freshman and sophomore year of high school, and I just transferred the semester to Scottsdale. Talk about your experience, if you can, spending all that time uh, in your younger years up until the age of 14 in Mexico and then coming back to Arizona. Talk about the differences between the two countries. Um, well, first of all, I'm very grateful for being raised in Mexico because I feel like Spanish is such a beautiful language. And then uh, being born here, I had the amazing opportunity of uh, being able to come here, get to know my dad, and um, also learn the English language. And initially, I was just planning on coming here for a few months to learn the language, but then I decided to stay after I saw that I was doing so well here. And um, it was kind of tough at the beginning, but um, it was also a very fun and exciting experience. And I feel like, I, I personally feel like I'm always learning something new, not even about the language, but about the culture, and that's very exciting to me. And you're pursuing a bachelor's degree in interior design at NAU, the Scottsdale campus? Yes. Where does your interest in interior design come from? What's motivating that? Well, my dad is a designer, and uh, my uncle, uh, who passed away a few years ago, he was also a designer, and I always admire everything that they did together in Tijuana, more specifically speaking. And then... Um, I just love making everything around me beautiful. I feel like everybody deserves to live in a beautiful home. And um, I've always tried to like live by that idea. And when we say interior design, obviously, uh, I think people would probably think about furniture or paint color or paintings on the wall, carpets. Is it all of that and more? Um, yes, I would say that there is a lot more to it, especially now that I'm having some experiences in the field. Um, it's a lot about, you wear many hats as an interior designer, and um, you have to know how to treat people. You have to know a little bit of psychology, a lot about construction, about the different codes that are out there. Uh, you have to know how to relate to people like yourself, people that are different. You have to be aware of all of the updates to different codes that are here, and also, um, since I'm interested in designing for people with disabilities in the future, really, I guess I'm always trying to read about the American with Disability Act, the ADA, and all of that to make sure that, um, that I can relate to all of my projects and come back to it every time. Now, is interior design like sort of like art in the sense that it's subjective and there isn't a lot of right and wrong? It's sort of based on personal taste? say so. I feel like there are always wrong answers because a space has, a space has to be solved and sometimes even though we have many solutions to every space, there are wrong solutions. So you have to be knowledgeable of, of the means of egress and again of all the different codes and dimensions that you have to take into consideration when you're designing the space. Ultimately, what is your career goal? Obviously, something to do with interior design. Well, I would love to design for residential spaces, 
but at first I would like to have some experience in commercial design and then um, actually have my own firm uh, to design for residential. I understand currently you're working as an intern or an apprentice uh, to gain experience as an interior designer? Mm -hmm. Can you tell us about that? Oh, sure. Um, well, I am in, what, in the internship that I'm doing as a writer, as an interior design content writer. Uh, what I do is that I research about trends that are going on right now or about different materials that are being used for interior design or about the styles that um, even like recent or not so recent, the styles in general or history of architecture and interior design. And then I just write about different ideas that I have. Sometimes it's based out of my own opinions and sometimes it's something that I just wanted to communicate because I think it's important. So that's pretty much what I do with that. And then um, as a ride along associate restoration hardware where I work full time at, I actually get to go to people's houses and talk to them. And I think that's just such a fun experience because you get to meet all kinds of people. And um, I can also apply my interior design knowledge onto any questions that they might have about the furniture that is being delivered to them. And also it has taught me a lot about customer service and about how important it is to know how to communicate and relate to people in that sense. And you're among the many hardworking students who have earned a scholarship from College Success Arizona. Uh, it provides up to $6,000 per year for educational expenses. Can you talk about how that money has kind of helped to ease your path in college? Well, I'm sure that if it wasn't because of my scholarships, I wouldn't be in college right now because I know for sure that um, my dad couldn't afford it. And uh, we never saved money for my college education at all. So if it weren't for, my, for the scholarships that I currently have, I know I wouldn't be able to be doing what I love in college or even being in college. And Robert Davis is your success advisor provided by College Success Arizona, essentially a mentor. Can you talk about how Robert has kind of helped you through college? Um, he's, been, he's been great. He's also given us advice on the different things that we can do and pursue while we're in college, different study tips and the things that can help us while we are on campus or off campus. And um, I feel that he's always providing us very useful advice on the daily, even through text or um, whatever ways he can get to help. And for middle and high school students who may be considering their own path to college, can you offer some advice? Um, well, I feel like everything is just hard work. And um, I also feel like college can be for everyone and anyone you just have to find what you're very passionate about and for that you just have to experience new things and uh, meet all kinds of people because i feel like that's the only way that you can discover yourself and actually know what you like and once you have that answer then um you have everything you need to be successful in a college career and after that it's all hard work so that you can find the scholarships and all of the financial aid that you can get and finally, do you hope to stay in Arizona or would you maybe return to Mexico at some time because that really is where you grew up most of your childhood? Um, I would love to stay here in Arizona and so far I'm feeling like I'm going to stay here for a few years. Thank you, Alma, for the interview and for working so hard to make a difference in our community.